Today I'm actually doing my first ever road trip in the Tesla. We got that 99% battery, we good to go. And it's supposed to be raining too at some point. Although the clouds look like they're still coming in. Although in Yuma it's actually raining right now, so we'll see how that goes. I never went in the rain with this yet, so that's gonna be cool to see if autopilot works in it. Ooh, yeah, it's gonna be scary and fun at the same time. How exhilarating, but let's hit the road. Yep, just chilling on the highway, autopilot doing all the driving, oh yeah, oh yeah, there's nothing like it. It's so much easier. Like look, normally I would have to turn right here, but I could just chill and let autopilot turn for me. Look at that, turning super smooth at 80 miles an hour, that's pretty insane. Oh, we got another one, ooh, this is going to be interesting. We get to turn again, you guys. How exciting, oh my, look at this. Oh, there's another, no, is that a Tesla? Yeah, it is a Tesla, there we go. Look at that, Model S action right there. That white car, oh yeah, it's coming through. Hey bro, you got your autopilot on too? Oh, he has his plate, though. I don't have a plate still. <laughs> I'm surprised I haven't been pulled over yet. Knock on wood, uh, hold on, I wanna make sure we get past this turn. But, you know what's cool about this car? I can knock on wood whenever I need to, because it's right there. But yeah, pretty cool, yeah. Got about what, 13 more miles to go to get the rats and I think I have to go all the way back and then to Yuma, wow. This is actually gonna be longer than I expected because it's taken me almost 30 minutes to get there, 30 minutes back, that's a whole extra hour on top of the two and a half hours to get to Yuma. But anyways, we're in route, we're gonna stop at Gila Bend to supercharge for about 20 minutes and we should get to the first supercharge around four o'clock and then about six o'clock to the actual destination. Look at that long drive, ooh, but we get autopilot, we're probably gonna get caught in the rain so that's gonna be fun. Ooh, can't wait to try it, let's get it. All right, currently in route, we're stuck in traffic on the I-10 because there's road work ahead, of course. Why wouldn't there be road work ahead? But Autopilot's making us a breeze. Look at that, look at all these cars slowing down, stopping. Yep, we're on our way. We got 72% charge left on our way to the Gila Bend Supercharger. So that's gonna be awesome. Never went to that one. Every time I passed, actually I only saw it one time when I passed, I was like, oh, there's that Tesla Supercharger. I was looking for it. So, yep, we're gonna be stuck in here. It's gonna start raining soon. We got a little bit of sprinkles going on. Hopefully we can test out the wipers as well as autopilot in the rain, because that would be awesome. Although a little bit scary, but you know, we got a little truck behind us. Look at that. Mm. Yeah, we just watch them. Just sit here and enjoy the view. Like, look at those clouds. They look amazing. This guy's just like, oh my God, I'm stuck in traffic. I'm like, oh my God, I'm stuck in traffic? It's about the state of mind. But to be in the state of mind, you gotta be an autopilot in a Tesla, so that's, one of the cabins about it. Yeah, we're coming to a stop. <laughs> oh boy, it is getting good. And now I'm at QT, which is funny because I told you guys I would never come to a gas station again. Although I did make sure to asterisk that thing by saying for gas specifically, because I got to go to the bathroom. I got to use the facilities. Ooh. Yeah, so that's why I'm here. But it feels weird. Everyone's looking at me like, what's he doing there? It's the ocean. But somehow, oh shit. <laughs> it just took it off. I knew it. Because I can't see anything. It looks like the front camera is blocked or blinded. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, guys, we made it to the Carl's Jr. slash Love's truck stop at the Supercharge. I should probably plug it. Why am I sitting in here? But that was some ride. It started raining pretty hard coming down. Oh, this is wow, super wet. Okay, at least it stopped raining. So let's get in here. Let's get plugged in. Ugh. Starting to charge. It's cold outside. Okay, now it's calculating. So we have to charge 20 minutes to get to our destination, although I'll probably stay here a little bit longer because why not get extra charge while I'm here and relaxed? That drive was something. The rain started coming down super hard. The road was covered. It looked like it was flooded. I was like, oh my God. I was like, I can't even see. I'm freaking out. The car's driving itself. So I'm like, okay, cool, whatever. And then all of a sudden it disengages. Like, dee, 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 take over. I'm like, oh my God. I was like, where's the lines? I'm like, I couldn't see anything. So that was pretty exhilarating, pretty cool. And I was surprised the autopilot was doing so good when I could barely see the road. Like, I was impressed. But yeah, we're gonna be charging up. Let's see, it's still going up a little faster. We're at 97 kilowatts, 98. I wonder how high we're gonna get. I haven't been past, I don't think I've been past 100. So if we can get up to like 120, that'd be great, because right now we're getting 450 miles an hour. We already got one kilowatt hour. That's cool. Looks like we're stuck at 99. But yeah, not bad. I'm really impressed with autopilot. Would you look at that? We got a little bit of a supercharging buddy now. That's insane, that's awesome. Model X, nice, pearl white, we're charging up. All right, we got back up to 82% super quickly. Let's get unplugged. 
put this thing back. Uh, yeah, there we go. Then this thing's gonna close itself, just like that. And now, we can get back on the road. Yay! We're currently en route to Yuma. We got no more stops, really, but it's telling us we need to stop at the Yuma Supercharger when we get there before we get to our destination. <laughs> Which is a bad sign. We have 161 miles of range right now, but I just got a pop-up that said to stay under 80 miles an hour to make it to the destination, which means my 100 mile drive with my 166 miles of range is getting cut almost, what is that, like into two thirds because of the cold weather. It's only 55 degrees. I mean, I didn't think that was that cold, but apparently it's pretty cold for the battery and it's not being too efficient right now. So I dropped down to 75 miles per hour, which is the speed limit right now and hopefully we'll make it. It says we'll make it there at 5% battery, so we're actually cutting this one extremely close. Range anxiety is about to set in. I'll keep you guys posted. But just look at this lovely view on such a lovely day with autopilot. And the plot thickens. Now we have to stay under 70 miles an hour to get to the destination. This is getting kind of serious here. <laughs> Pretty soon we go 20 miles an hour and never get there. And there's no other superchargers on the route. So under 70. Does that mean I can't go 70? So I have to go down to like 68? Oh no. I have to go under the speed limit. The speed limit is literally 75 right now. Oh. Oh, you know what they say every time you get an EUV, you get the biggest battery that you can get. I didn't do that because I wasn't planning to keep this car that long because I'm getting cyber truck, so I'm gonna have to just live with it. But if you're gonna go on a lot of road trips, definitely get the bigger battery. Trust me on this one. You know how you know you're going slow? This is how you know. Yeah, getting passed by a semi truck. I always thought that was funny, but now that I'm experiencing it, it's not that funny. Yeah. Although we are going slower than 70, and it says we're gonna get there with 11% now, so it keeps increasing as we go along. Our watt hour per mile usage is dropping, so that's good. We're at 309, we were close to 400 when it told us to slow down. So that's good, so I guess we're gonna be getting there a little bit later than planned, so it's definitely gonna be dark. But we still got a nice view out of us, nice day. So <laughs> hopefully we make it there without getting stopped in the middle of the desert. Guess what's coming up behind us? It's about to pass us. Uh, here we go again, this is so embarrassing. Let me just put my head down in shame. <laughs> Man, what the hell does that do? We got places to go. We want to see. Uh, yeah. I hate, I'm literally going nine miles under the speed limit. <laughs> oh my god, why isn't there another supercharger on the way? There's literally one. That is terrible. That is insane. I Like, on the way back from California, at least there were a bunch of them on the way that we didn't stop at. So if you had to stop at one, they were there. Now we don't even have the option. I'm not even sure if the destination charges over here. We may be driving slow, but we got a little bit extra time with this nice view. Look at that. Just look at that. Wow. So amazing. Just take a second and look around. Just look at those clouds. They're coming down over the mountaintop. That, that's so nice. And I think this right here is what I was talking about earlier. Well, in my other video, the, where we go through the mountain. So let's enjoy this together at 66 miles an hour in autopilot. Why not? Oh, wow, it just looks so nice. But just look at that. Oh, this is what autopilot's made for right here. Enjoy the ride, enjoy the view, enjoy the sights, and clear your mind. Although, make sure you're paying attention, but still. My hand on the wheel seat, I'm good, I'm good, cheap. I don't think this is the mountain I was thinking of. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was on this route. But wow, this still looks nice though. Because the mountains I'm thinking of were a lot closer than these. These ones are actually further away from me. You had to like weave between them, but I'm still enjoying it. Oh my god, look at that. Wow. You can't tell me you're not enjoying this view. Look at that. That's just insane. I'll catch you guys in a bit. Guess what time it is? It's about to happen for a third time in a row. Are you ready? Do you know? Cause here it's about to go. Oh no. Okay, I got a little bit ahead of myself, but it's coming. It's coming. You'll see in about a second. Three, two, one. Oh no, 
we're going too slow. <sighs> Although we should be getting there with close to 20% battery now, so I feel like I could raise the speed up a bit, but I don't want to risk it. <laughs> I'm gonna just keep it still, keep it steady. Only got 46 miles to go. I'm gonna just chill, check out the view. Oh, you guys, the view is bad. Just look at them clouds there. Oh, so good. Number four, here we go. Three, two, one. Woo! And this is just semi trucks. It's not counting all the regular cars that have been passing me this whole time. Speaking of which, I'm not coming to Florida. But yeah, we are almost there. We actually have about 30 more miles and 30 minutes too. So that's pretty cool. A mile a minute. And yeah, we should be getting there with about 20% battery. So that's good. Charge it up for a little bit and get to the destination. Hey guys, I'm back. Remember that mountain I was looking for earlier where we go through and start weaving through it? I finally found it. Woo! Here we go, autopilot, do your thing so I can take a look at the mountains. Oh, look around, look at all that. Oh, watch for rocks though, autopilot, watch for rocks. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, it's gonna be enjoyable. Oh, just look at these mountains, look at that. Oh, it looks so nice. About to hit the foothills, you was 19 miles away and oh, just look at that. Automatic high beams are working perfectly fine. Wow, just look at that. Oh my god, I can't explain. Oh no, I gotta actually pass somebody. I didn't expect to have to pass anybody because everyone's passing me. Let me casually get over. Okay, let's get autopilot back on. All right, it's time we're in the left lane. Okay, well, yeah, we can still enjoy this. Look at this. Let's all get back over. Alright, now we can enjoy it again. <laughs> Sucker, you guys were passing me back there. Anyways, oh yeah. Just look at that. Oh, wait, here we go. This is where I think you can see the city when we're going down. Look at that. Uh, maybe? I think it's coming up. But just look at that. The sky, the mountains, so beautiful. Wow. This is what road trips are all about. And just listen to that silence. Okay, let's start reading a turn up here. Let's see how well Autopilot handles this one. Okay, it's not the worst turn ever. <laughs> Plus we're only going 66, so it's not a huge deal, but wow, here we go, look at that. Let's take one last look at the mountains over here, and then right ahead of us, we got the city. It's not dark enough yet to see all these lights. Now you see some lights. Oh, look at that though. Wow, simply amazing. We can even look up at the sky. There's nothing up there. <laughs> Oh wow, yes, I'm satisfied. Plus, we're gonna get there with about 20% battery left, so that's good. We're at 27% now, so we're actually getting really close. Now, I guess we'll see when we get there. So we're actually in the city limits now, as you can see. I mean, I guess you can't really see much, but we're in the city, and the speed dropped back down to 65. I'm going 66, so I'm actually speeding right now, but people are still passing me up, so. There's that, although the people behind me seem to be keeping the distance back. I can't really see them back there. Let's see, can you see them on the camera? No, you can't see shit. <laughs> but yeah, people are passing me, although I guess they're staying pretty tame. Whatever, we're almost at the supercharger. We only got about 10 miles to go. All right, all right, superchargers. I don't know if I made it in the right entrance, but I see them right there. Can I get through? Now your destination is on the Oh yeah, we made it. They better work, because I read some reviews that they were down for a while. They look like they work. I wonder which one's the fastest. I don't know. Let's get one. Look at that, we arrived with 21% charge. There's the stats of your Kira, so we had 260 watt hours per mile, down from 400. Now let's get plugged in. I read some reviews and someone said 1H, ours is at 120. So hopefully this will go at 120, because that's pretty fast. I haven't been past 100 so far. All the lights are on. Someone said they've never seen that before. So that's good. There we go. This cable's a little stiff. All right, it's flashing. So far, so good. It's starting to charge. We're at 21%. We only need to charge for like five minutes. And look at that. Speeding up. Let's see how high we go. Oh, it's climbing, climbing. Okay, come on. Let's see if we can get that full 120. Oh, it's still going. Oh my God, no way. This is the highest I've ever seen. 120, it looks like it's, ma oh, 121? 
I'm assuming it's 120 or whatever and fluctuates a little bit. So wow, that is super good. That's pretty amazing. We already got one kilowatt hour. So yeah, range anxiety started to set in, although it wasn't that bad. You just had to slow down a bit and we made it here with 20% to spare. So not bad, not bad at all. I mean, it was took a little longer than normal and people were passing us getting mad, but I got a nice view, a nice experience. Plus I don't feel super tired like I normally would because I didn't have to drive. Funny story about that. I completely forgot because I just had to charge up, right? So here's what happened. The freeway ended and I had to get off to come to the charger and all of a sudden I had to disengage autopilot and I was like, hold on. How do you drive again? <laughs> like, I was doing it weird. Like, I was doing the pedal a little bit too hard or not enough, and I kept slowing down. I was like, what's going on? Because literally for the last, how far? 116 miles, almost two hours. <laughs> it was nonstop autopilot. I didn't have to disengage it whatsoever, not even once, just chilling. And then when that finally ended, I was like, how do you drive again? I can't remember. <laughs> That's kind of a good problem to have. That was pretty cool. Nice drive, made it, got three kilowatt hours for 24 cents already. Oh, I'm happy. So that was my first road trip in the Tesla. And <laughs> I mean, normally I feel like there's more supercharged, but between Phoenix and Yuma, apparently there's none, except for that one at Gila Bend, and then you gotta get to this one. So other places, I'm pretty sure it'll be fine because there's more stops that you can make. This one, you just have to make sure you get to Yuma in one piece, otherwise you're screwed. But let me know what you guys want to see next. Make sure you guys check out all my other videos, and I'm going to get this thing charged up, hit my destination, and I'll see you guys in the next one.